Hi boys and girls, welcome to week one of digital photography. Today we're going to be looking at the camera app that you already have built into the iPad. We're going to be looking at creating albums and we're also going to be looking at some basics of taking good pictures. So the first thing you're going to want to do is find your camera app. There's a couple things that you probably already know about your device. Over here on the right hand side you've got some options. You've got one that you can flip around your camera and flip it back. You also have a timer feature. That timer feature allows you to set and start the timer at 3 seconds or 10 seconds and the picture won't actually take until the timer is done. So if I'm trying to set up my camera and then run and be in a part of a picture, I could set it for 10 seconds. When I click the camera shutter button, which is the circle white button, I'm able to go run after I click that and jump into my picture. Right now I'm going to keep that off. HDR shows the resolution quality. Resolution quality is how many pixels or how clear your picture is. Going down our menu bar, we have the white circle. This is how we actually take some pictures. Below that, you have your options as to different kinds of videos. Time lapse is how you make stop motion videos, so it takes a picture every few seconds. Video allows you to turn on a video and you can actually record something that's happening. If I scroll up, I've got the option to take a photo that can later be edited or modified. I can also take a square picture, which changes the size of my picture. These would be great if you were using them for different kinds of visual pictures or something like Instagram. Down at the bottom, I have a link directly into my photo gallery. A couple things we're going to look at are how to make burst mode pictures. A burst mode picture is how you get multiple pictures of an action shot or something. So if you were taking a picture of someone swinging a baseball bat, you would want to take multiple pictures at a time. To take a burst mode picture, you're going to click and hold on your shutter button. And you'll see in rapid fire, pictures being taken. Now we're going to look at how to create an album on our camera. I'm going to go out of here and I'm going to go into my photo roll. You'll see my most recent pictures are things that I just took. Okay. I can also go back and look at anything I've taken previously. We're going to click on albums on the bottom tab and I'm going to create a new album and I'd like you to do this as well. We're going to call this Technology Club or Tech Club. This is where you'll save all of your pictures that you decide to keep and that we're eventually going to create an awesome website to store all of our pictures. So now I'm able to select some pictures. Just choose any picture that's on your camera roll right now and add it to our album. So now I have my album for Tech Club. A couple things we're going to look at today are how to compose a really nice picture. The first thing that we're going to look at is how to experiment with angles. Taking pictures from up high, down low, from the side, at different angles. When you take pictures from different angles, you're going to get a much different shot. We're also going to look at taking macro pictures. These are the pictures that you take really, really close up pictures of something. You might have seen a picture of a flower with a water droplet or a really close up snowflake like the example below. We're also going to look at the rule of thirds. This is about composing a good picture. If I go into my settings and go into the camera options, I'm able to turn on the grid for my camera. Right now I already have it turned on. If you don't have it turned on, you're going to want to do this. What the grid does is help us look into how to separate your camera. Now, it's very hard to see when you have a lot of light, but when I face it 
towards something else in the library, you can kind of see some lines in your picture. It's split in thirds going from left to right. It's also split in thirds going from top to bottom. Basically, that means that I've created nine cells. The rule of thirds is that you are going to aim to create a picture that's lined up on one of those grid lines grid lines and you're going to create that as a focal point. We're also going to look at exposure. Exposure is the amount of light that's being allowed in your camera frame. If I am looking at something and I click on a focal point like the computer screen, I'm able to click the little sun going up and allow more light into my camera or I can move the sun down by scrolling down and adding less light into the camera. Now, most of the time, the camera is really good at being right in the middle, but sometimes it's really fun to have more exposure or less exposure.